or know it all. That's not nice. He's here, though. He's on the couch with us this morning. The U.S. Open is in full swing with tennis fans lining up to see their favorite players. But aside from the on-court action, courtside behavior is also in play. This <laughs> 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 is screaming. Everybody's screaming now. Etiquette expert Thomas Farley is here to tell us how not to embarrass ourselves in the stands with some tennis do's and don'ts. Welcome. Is there a lot more screaming going on in tennis, or is it just me? <laughs> not in the stands, we hope, but no, on but the, the courts, the courts Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That, you know, this all began, sure. you know, Jimmy Connors and John McEnroe were really kind of the poster boys for this bad behavior. <laughs> and it's, it's part of why we love tennis so much. You know, that kind of the, the same reason people love hockey. They like seeing that brawling action on the courts. But let's face it, it can be really offensive. McEnroe, famous for his line, you can't be serious, screaming at right. the umpire at Wimbledon. Serena has been horrendous the last couple of years, 2009. She actually lost a match to Kim, Kim Clijsters for her outrageous behavior on court using profanities. And last year, once again, she screamed at an umpire, got herself into deep water. Shouldn't yeah. the U.S. Open be a little classier? <laughs> What's that supposed to be? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Classier than I don't know. I, I just am surprised. Right. Well, you know, there's obviously there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of work that goes into getting to the U.S. Open. So we understand it can be tense, and anybody who plays tennis understands that. But they've really got to model some better behavior on the court. And in fact, the USTA has just introduced this year a sportsmanship award for the player who exhibits the best behavior on the court. And that's a direct result of Serena's bad behavior last but like, year. Do you think anyone cares? Yeah. Do you think any of the players okay. are like, you know what? <laughs> I, I don't win the U.S. <laughs> I, I don't care. I just want the sports. Well, no. Do they care? Uh, yeah, maybe it's a consolation prize, but I, you know, I think it's great that they're doing it. I think it sets the right example. All right, so that's on the court, so do I. but the spectators do have rules to follow as well. They, they absolutely do. One, of, you know, one of the most interesting things, and a lot of people don't know this, is catching the ball. So. You're at a baseball game, the ball goes into the stands, right. it's your fun souvenir to take home. Until 2005, if you caught a ball, you were required to return it to, to the courts. Yeah, and don't and throw it back at the player, because that's like not nice, <laughs> you know? You want to be there to support them, but you know, you should throw it back to one of the uh, ball people. Right, that, now, uh, now the USTA decided, you know what, people want these as souvenirs, let's let them keep them. Oh, nice. But until 2005, because the, the ball as it plays throughout the day, change its characteristics, physics characteristics start to change. And so they felt taking it out of play makes the game suddenly different for the players. They wanted you to give it back. They've given up on that. Now you get it as a souvenir. Well, what's nice. the deal on cheering? You're not supposed to cheer or serve, but you can boo? Once, you know, once play has started, you want to keep quiet. You want to stay in your seat. You, want to, you don't want to be moving around. If you need a bathroom break, wait. Wait until there's a pause between play. You don't want to be using flash photography. Your cell phone, obviously, needs to be silenced. This is Arthur Ashe Stadium is the largest tennis stadium in the world. 23,000 spectators. You could hear a pin drop while play yeah. is going on. Hmm. It's really amazing. People yeah. are generally very well behaved. But yeah, well, no, they're normally well behaved, but also there are celebrities in the stands that are also partaking in the U.S. Open, too. So give us some uh, tips on how to behave in the stands. Sure. So, well, you'll see those celebrities, they flash them up on the screen for you, which is kind of fun. And everybody kind of cheers and looks around and says, oh, gosh, I wonder where that person is. And Seinfeld is always there. Martha yeah. Stewart's always there. So it's kind of neat. You don't want to pester them, though. Give them their distance. They're appreciating the sport as you are, but let them enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anna Wintour was there one time, and I was dying. I geeked out, and then I was like, oh, man, I can't do it. You she know? just threw a ball at her. No. Oh, John. Thomas, in your opinion, <laughs> do you think if you're sitting next to a fan that keeps getting up and down out of their seat, it doesn't matter during the point, or, you know, alcohol is served at these, can, first of all, can you bring the alcohol into the stands? And also, as a spectator next to that person, can you say, do you mind just staying put? You know, it's, it's distracting for me as a fan. Like anything else, when you're in that kind of a group setting, whether you're in a movie theater or you're in a church or anywhere there's an audience and you're feeling like your experience is being ruined by somebody who's sitting next to you, you want to, if it seems appropriate, deal with the person directly. If the person's drunk, if they look like they might be violent, you're going to be sitting next to that person for a while. You yeah. don't want to get into that kind of a situation. Speak to one of the attendants, and they're very good about keeping things orderly, especially in tennis. This is not, again, it's not a college football game. This is, everybody's kind of, you know, they've got their sweaters wrapped around their necks. Everybody's mm -hmm. looking all country club. you got to bring the appropriate behavior as well. And if that's not happening, speak up. I agree. So Thanks. now everyone can just enjoy. That's right. Thomas and, Farley, thank you so much for yeah, being here. We all. appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yes, those were good tips. Mm -hmm. So now hopefully we can apply them if we go out there you and will. watch some matches. Yes, definitely.